Hey everyone, Danny with Recluse here. Today's video is made to help provide you, our customer, with a better understanding of how a clutch works. So what is a clutch? Simply put, a clutch is a mechanical device that engages two rotating shafts. In a motorcycle application, one rotating shaft is connected to the motor and the other is connected to the transmission. The clutch allows the operator to control the power delivered to the rear wheel by modulating the clutch lever. To fully understand, let's start by showing you the clutch components. Typical motorcycle clutch consists of an outer clutch basket, an inner clutch hub, a pressure plate, clamping force springs, and a clutch pack. The clutch pack consists of two plates, friction plates and steel plates. The steel plates index with the center clutch hub and the two parts spin together driving the transmission. The friction plates index with the clutch basket and again the two parts spin together driven by the motor. These two parts are assembled alternating steel plates and friction plates. The friction plates are alternated with the steel plates to optimize the contact surface area with the friction and steel plate. A clutch works by using friction and pressure. If you were to take your hands and rub them together, you'll find there is very low friction and your hands slide back and forth easily. Apply pressure, friction increases, and your hands want to lock together. Another way to look at it is a clutch works a lot like a brake. If you look at the friction plate, it has fiber material that is very similar to a brake pad. The steel plate is similar to a brake rotor. Apply pressure, friction is increased, and the two plates spin together. Release that pressure, and the friction is decreased, and the two parts are able to spin independently. In a motorcycle clutch application, the pressure comes from the clamping force spring. The spring applies force into the pressure plate, squeezing the clutch pack together. Again, friction is increased, locking the two parts together. This connects the motor to the transmission, ultimately driving the rear wheel and moving you forward. These same springs are the resistance you feel when you pull a clutch lever in. As the clutch lever is pulled in, the springs are compressed. As you release the clutch lever, clamping force is applied into the clutch pack. Pulling in the clutch lever releases the clamping force, disengages the clutch, and allows the operator to place the bike in gear without the bike moving forward. The lever position determines how much force is applied into the clutch pack. Now this is not an on-off switch, but more like a dial. If zero is with the clutch lever pulled all the way in, a completely released clutch lever would be a 10, transferring all of the horsepower of the motor to the rear wheel and hooking you up and driving you forward. 